with regard to ethics, it 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 seems to me that the that the that the same argument mm -hmm. might apply that that when it comes to to my little circle mm -hmm. of 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 people that I know and trust, that we all get advantages. We're all insiders, mm -hmm. but everyone out there is not. Everyone else is an outsider. So that when when Goldman Sachs, for instance, um, and this is just one of many, many, many examples, bets some of its clients um, against other clients. Those clients that are at a disadvantage, which included in the Abacus deal, included you know pensioners and, and many people who needed the money, those were the outsiders and didn't need to be concerned with, with them, whereas our insiders got the advantages. And I think that is, is a, a, a real dynamic in, in American society today, and not only in the United States, of course. Mm -hmm. um, so so it, it runs the gamut. I mean, we see this dynamic, I'm afraid, in, in arenas from you know, health care to um, homeland security to finance to foreign policy. Um, and we see it in, in, in some of the top power brokers um, who, who, who are elites. Right. You named several of those top yeah. power brokers in various fields, but particularly, mm -hmm. you know, in politics, you're, mm -hmm. you're relentlessly bipartisan. <laughs> you, yes, get, you get absolutely. both Democrats and Republicans. Yes. And, and, and uh, I, I, you know, names that crop up in your book are Robert Rubin, Larry Summers, Tom Daschle. Mm -hmm. Uh, Christine Dodd Whitman, uh, Michael Chertoff, uh, you know, it, it's Bill Clinton. Uh, are you saying, let me put this bluntly, are you saying these people are cor corrupt? Well, what I'm saying is that um, their activities are, so, so let me just say a few things about what I call the new corruption, which is a violation of public trust. Um, which is which is more greed, what we might call greed corruption, as opposed to the the need corruption that that we started off talking about. So so are they are they corrupt? Well, part of the issue is that there's an information problem. We can't know what their activities, um, the range, the full range of their activities are, and how to sort them out. For example. Michael, Michael uh, uh, Chertoff, former Homeland Security Chief, um, appeared on, on television um, soon after the Christmas Day bomber a few years ago and touted um, as a, an all-purpose solution to airport security these full-body scanners. Which we all are now familiar with. Yeah. Which we're all, all too, now all too familiar with. Right. Right. Um, and at the time, he was, he was represented as former Homeland Security Chief, as a neutral, impartial expert. The reading and listening public did not know at the time that he had um, a license to manufacture, his company had a license to manufacture the only license at the time to manufacture these scanners. So it's an information problem. We, the public, don't, we can't, we can't know and, 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 and we don't know the full range of activities and therefore we don't know how to sort out their true agendas. So this is different than the classic corruption, I put something in an envelope, leave it on your desk. Uh, and I think this is what you're saying is that the old sort of measurements of corruption that, for instance, Transparency International right. and the World Bank uses right. no longer really measure the new, new phenomena. That's right, because this kind of corruption is much more elusive. It's much more difficult to detect. It is not a quid pro, pro quo. It's not a simple yeah. bribe under the table. And it's also difficult to sort out where the branding ends. I mean, people who want to stay in the game and be, you know, power brokers obviously are going to, uh, you know, be on television and so on. But that can also help them in their business the next time, you know, they need a government contract or whatever. It means that somebody, it helps their calls be returned and so on. So it, it these things are, are very difficult to sort out. But... 
If there is a violation of public trust, I would submit that is that is that is the new corruption. That is that is very ethically challenged, if not um, unethical unethical behavior. Um, I, I mentioned you mentioned um, Tom Daschle, so. Um, he was, what was he doing? Well, he was, he was consulting for healthcare companies on certain issues at the same time that he was providing supposedly impartial advice to the president and to people on Cap Capitol Hill in the run up to the healthcare reform bill. There's no quid pro quo, and this is far more elusive activity. Um, but is that not a violation of, 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 of public trust? And is there not an information problem here for, we, for us, the public?